Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year. Today I thought what better way to start off my 2019 videos with a little bit of a roundup of my favourite products of 2018 and doing a full face using those. Some of these products are new and came out in 2018 and became my favourites quickly. Others have been out for a little bit longer but definitely were my ride or die 2018 products. So I just thought let's do a full beat using an array of favourites and see how the makeup turns out. I have no idea what I'm going to do today, it's going to be kind of like a get ready with me, not really got a look in mind so we're just going to kind of play around with some of my favourites and see what kind of happens. If you want to see what look comes together then obviously just keep watching but before you do make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss any future uploads from me because now that we've got some new lights to play with I think I'm going to be doing a lot more of a regular video upload schedule, just giving you production values 2019, oh grrr. but yeah, I just thought let's do a fun, chill, get ready with me, full beat, so let's just get into it. So the first thing I'm going to use is the Urban Decay Rebound Prep Spray, I'm using that to prep my skin, it is collagen infused prep and prime spray and my skin has been so much better for using this stuff, honestly I am obsessed. For primer, I'm going in with the YSL All Hours Primer. This is a pretty new primer for me. I am not obviously, as you guys know, the biggest fan of like actual face primers as such. I like, usually just prefer like a priming spray. But this one it gives my skin a really nice kind of soft matte finish. It's really lightweight. It's kind of like a milky texture, but it's really, really nice if you want something just to kind of give your makeup a really nice smooth base, I don't know. For foundation, obviously, 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 I am going to go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. This is not new, it's been out for a while now, but this has definitely been my favourite foundation this year. It's the one that I reach for the most, so obviously I have to be using some of that. So I'm going to go in with the shade 6.5, which is a little bit darker than what I normally go for. Normally I use a shade 5, but... I went a little bit darker with my tan today, so let's just match the foundation to that. The brush that I'm using is actually an Urban Decay brush as well. Usually I use Beauty sponges for applying my foundation, but this is the Urban Decay Contour Definition brush. It's actually meant to be used for like contouring. It's like angled, kind of really densely packed brush. But I love this for foundation. I really love the finish it gives to the skin, so this has become a favourite brush. 2018 for me and it, I like it because it just gives the skin a really nice airbrush finish and you can get a really quick full coverage I actually fell in love with this brush by mistake because I was meant to pick up another brush that I normally would use for foundation but picked this one up by mistake and then I was like oh that actually goes on so nice so it's became a real favourite from me. So who wants to guess what my favourite concealer of the year is? Obviously it is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. This one here is the Super Size Edition because I was buying the regular ones and literally going through like one a week. So they brought out these bigger bad boys. I fell in love. The shade I'm using is C2. It's a little bit lighter than my foundation so it'll give me a really nice bright under eye. One thing I did find with this concealer at first is that the coverage yeah, it is full, but you have to kind of let it sit on your skin for a little while just to get maximum coverage. If you're going in and blending it out straight away, it is kind of going to sheer out a little bit. So what I've been doing is just kind of painting it on. I like to just have a really bright under eye, so I just kind of paint these two triangles in my under eye. Probably use way too much concealer. You guys are probably sitting at home going, oh my god, Alan, what are you doing? But this is just the concealer routine that works for me and I like it so let me live my best life so I'll usually put that on let it sit for a sec drink some of my homemade iced coffee because this is the year that I stopped spending ridiculous amounts in Starbucks <laughs> honestly what are you guys' new year's resolutions do you have any if so Leave them in the comments below, we can discuss. And then I put a little bit of my forehead and blend it out just to lighten up. And then using that same contour brush, I like to just kind of pack the edges away first. And start blending those into the foundation. I always like to take the edges of my concealer away first before I go in and blend out the kind of main under eye section. Just because I want to make sure the coverage there is as intense as it can be. 
Okay, so now that my under eyes are super bright and super popping, I'm going to set it all in place with my favourite powder of the year. Well, I've got two, but my favourite under eye powder of the year is definitely the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder. I use the shade Pound Cake. It is super matte, super flawless. Touch on the drying side, so don't leave it baking for too long. But I really, really, really like this powder. I think it's so good. I always like to use the double ended brush that it comes with, and I just really pack that on my under eyes. The instructions for this say like leave it on for like five ten minutes, but it is hella dry, so five minutes at a push. Okay, so while we let that bake, I'm going to move on to brows. For those of you who have followed me for a while, you will know that 2018 was the year that I ditched the Sharpie brow and fully embraced that fluffy brow life. And let me tell you, I have never looked back. So while some of the products that I used today are not new for 2018, the brow routine is new and that is the favourite part of the year. So what I always start by doing is just pushing my brows up with a spoolie just to get them really into a really nice bit of shape. The reason why I always set this bit with powder is so that the brows doesn't disturb the foundation, the brow gel doesn't disturb the foundation, we don't want any of that. So the first thing I'm going to use is the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint in the shade Spite. I just use the little felt tip end and I literally just draw a line under my brows, so not a full straight line, just kind of filling in and defining the base of my brows. I still keep the top half super fluffy and just really focus on getting a nice defined but still soft line along the base of my brows. And what I find that does is it saves me time having to carve and carve and carve. Then we're going to move on to the Hero Brow Product of the Year and that is the Urban Decay Subversion Lash Primer. This has saved my brow life in 2018. I know it is for your lashes originally, but if you use this on your brows before you put on any brow product, it makes them look so fluffy, so thick, and it holds them in place. And I am convinced that it's actually helped my brows grow in thicker and fuller. And I will not have anyone tell me otherwise. <laughs> but literally, I'm obsessed. Then I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Brow Precise Fibre Filler in the shade Deep Brown. I love this because it's got a little flat paddle brush. I don't know if you can see. So it makes applying the brow product so easy. I tend to use the brush on its side at the start just to push the product through the brows. And then as we get towards the end of your brow hairs, kind of almost extend it so you're only using the tip of the brush. So then I'm just using the other side of that Huda Beauty brush and I'm just cleaning away my bake. I don't like to rub the bake away too much. I like to more kind of press and roll so that a lot of that powder is getting pushed into the skin just to give me really extra coverage. I am not here for a cakey under eye but I'm also not here for a creasy under eye. There is nothing worse than creased concealer. So, make sure it's blended. Also, just always make sure you're blending it into the bit of foundation where there's no powder, because otherwise when you go to apply highlight and stuff, it's going to look not the one. I'm going to set the rest of my face now using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Powder. This is just a colourless setting powder. This has become one of my favourite, favourite things this year. If you haven't tried it, I would definitely advise it. Because us in the UK had a little bit of a heat wave in the summer and this definitely stopped my makeup from dying on me a few times. The bronzer that I use is always the same bronzer. It's the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer. I know that it isn't new. I know it didn't come out this year but it's the best bronzer that I like. So I'm going to just use that. And what we're going to just do is make sure that my cheeks are looking super bronzed. I was going to go in with a cream contour because I did go through a phase in my life this year of doing cream contour and I really liked it but I didn't want this video to be 25 million hours long however if you're looking for my favourite cream contour product it is the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation in the shade F13 I will link it below that is honestly like for the price especially a phenomenal phenomenal product okay so I feel we're looking kind of bronzed but I don't think I want to go too much more contoured than this because it's just not really been my thing this year to do a heavy contour. I do kind of dabble, but nowhere near to the extent that I used to. What I will do is I'll take a little bit more of my Huda powder and just kind of carve out the cheeks, and that way we'll get a little bit more of a kind of non-contoured, contoured look. 
and that'll give us that kind of contoured look without going with a heavy contour. I've also really stopped doing like a full on nose contour. What I do now is just take my bronzer brush with like any leftover products from bronzing my cheeks and I literally just bronze the full nose. Um, crazy, but the reason why is because then I just can bake the sides, highlight the centre and we get a snatched nose with no go faster stripes. So then we're going to take some more of the Beauty Powder. So we're dusting that bake away now and you'll see that we didn't have to contour to get the cheeks to contour. So while I'm not a favourite contour product, I think changing my contour technique has been a new favourite part of the year. So it kind of counts, right? And then I am going to soak my skin in some more of that Rebound Crepe Spray from Urban Decay before we can get into some highlight fun. And then I'm going to highlight. So... My favourite highlighter of the year is one that I don't think you can get anymore, but I'm going to use it anyway. So, the Urban Decay X Kristen Leanne Beauty Beam Highlighter is, without a doubt, my favourite highlighting product of 2018. So, I'm going to use that to say, but if you want to pick another highlighting product, the Urban Decay Naked Cherry one has got a beautiful highlighter and it was really blinding as well or you can get the doll beauty highlighters which i have used to death on this channel you know these are my favorite favorite highlighters you have got shine bright which is more kind of bronzy and like a diamond which is more of a white gold but obviously i like to layer them both so i would do that too i uh, might still do that to do as well today so we'll go in with the kristen leanne highlighter palette i don't really follow any sort of rhyme or reason with this. I tend to just tape my brush through the three and I haven't worn this in a while because it's one of those ones where because it is so blinding and so special. I mean look at that highlight. It is popping. But I do kind of keep it for special occasions just because it's got a short lifespan. I won't be able to get it again so I kind of just bust it out for like nights out and stuff rather than every day but it is definitely one of my favourite highlighters of the year. I always like to blend my bronzer and my highlight with a blush. I love how I say I like to it as if it's not what everyone does but the blush of the year for me, it's not new, it's not groundbreaking, it is MAC Sunbask. I picked this up this year so it's new to me so I actually can't stop looking at how popping that highlight looks. Oh wow. So this is MAC Sunbask. It is a beautiful kind of bronzy peachy blusher. And I just run that right up between where my bronzer and my highlighter meet because we do not want chunky highlight in 2018 or 2019. On a little bullet brush, I'm just going to highlight the centre of my nose. Like so, and a little bit just on the tip. And that instantly makes the nose look a little bit more pinched but I always then like to blend it out so I take my powder brush with some more of that all nighter powder and I just go over the edges to dull it down as well as just kind of pushing the edges here away so that the highlighter isn't stopping abruptly anywhere because we don't want that. It's not new this year, it's not new this probably decade but it's the only one I would use so we're going to just shake my new all nighter setting spray because I just got a new one and I'm going to just mist my full face in some all nighter spray to lock this beat in place. Okay so now that we are going to jump onto the eyes so I definitely definitely think that 2018 was the year of the eyeshadow palette. I think there was eyeshadow palettes coming out left, right and centre. There was so much choice in terms of eye palettes. It was a little bit overwhelming, I don't know if you guys agree, but there was literally just eyes, eyes, eyes everywhere. So I'm going to use one palette, maybe, maybe two. But I'm going to show you guys kind of my favourites of the year anyway, and then we can take it from there. First, there's two palettes that were my favourites of the year that you can't get anymore. First, the first of my favourite palettes of the year was definitely the Urban Decay Kristen Leanne Kaleidoscope Dream Palette. This, if you like colour, is so good. The formula of these shadows was amazing. It's very bright, so I know some people might get a bit put off by how bright it is, or maybe by the kind of unconventional layout, but the formula of these shadows is amazing. I still reach for this all the time when I want to do colour. This middle 
split pan. Yeah, but that's going to be done in no time. Other palette of mine, which is a favourite, if you follow me on Instagram, this was like the palette I wore every day for about three, four months, definitely was the Urban Decay Beached Palette. The Beached Palette is me in a palette, warm, 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 teal, warm, me. So, we like that one as well, that's another favourite of mine. Another favourite of mine is definitely the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. This has been a really favourite palette of mine of the year, so this, of course, has got super warm colours, it's got some shimmers, it's got those kind of really vibrant reds which I'm here for and another palette of mine which again just like that all nighter powder I spoke about earlier on I really don't think this palette, the Born to Run palette by Urban Decay gets anywhere near as much credit as it should because it has got everything you would need. It is honestly such a phenomenal palette, it's got all the great mattes that you would need, warm mattes, cool mattes it's got some pops of colour, take them away and it's a neutral palette, but this is again a great palette. So I'm probably going to dip between my Born to Run and my Blood Sugar palette for the look that I want to do. And then a product which has became a favourite of mine this year, even though it wasn't new, is the Urban Decay Moondust Eyeshadows. These are just in a custom palette I got when I was away. Um, you can only get that in America, so... If anyone from Urban Decay is watching this and wants to make it a thing in the UK, please, I'll buy 10. So, I've got some of the Moondust singles here. My favourites are Crux, which is a teal. Space Cowboy is an amazing, amazing, amazing nude sparkle, which we'll probably use today. Like, they're so good, so if you haven't got... So, if you haven't experienced a Moondust, now is the time. So, I'm going to just start off by... No surprises, priming my eyelids. I'm going to use my Eden Eye Primer by Urban Decay because I use this all the time. It is the best eye primer in my opinion. In my blood sugar palette, I'm going to dip into the said Cherry Soda and probably a little bit of fresh meat as well and use those two to kind of build up the crease. So I'm just stamping down that shade Cherry Soda. Oh, I forgot how vibrant this palette is. So I'm just stamping Cherry Soda into my crease. I just think, because this is my favourites of the year, let's just do a kind of spin on my favourite look of the year. So that's what we're going to do today. Then dipping into my Born to Run palette and the shade Punk, we're going to deepen that crease up. This is going to look... Who wants to complete the sentence? This is going to look kind of funny at first, but it won't when we're done, so don't worry. Now I'm on a really small brush, a MAC 221S, and I'm just stamping punk into the crease, just to deepen it. I'm going to use the shade Hellride from my Born to Run palette, and I'm going to just use that to buff those two colours together. The brush that I'm using is the Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush, which I always forget about how much I love, so I'm going to make that a resolution to use more. So the idea I've got going on here in my head is I think I want it to be like a kind of really warm pinky red almost in the crease and then maybe some sort of colour in the lids, maybe keep it neutral, we'll see. I don't want to take the shade Punk again or the shade Intravenous, I'll try Intravenous first. Oh it's more purple isn't it? I'm going to take this shade Intravenous from the Blood Sugar palette and I'm going to use that just to do a little bit of a soft spotlight on my eye. Not doing anything crazy today, guys, don't worry. So I'm just stamping that on the outside of my eye. And just start to build that up. Then we're going to go in with either Eden or, hmm, I think all-nighter concealer would be good for this. Because I want it to be really light, I'm going to go in with my all-nighter concealer in the shade Fair Warm. And I'm going to just put a little bit of that just right here. Don't worry about making it perfect. And then with my ring finger, I'm going to just pat that out. Just to really brighten up the eyelid again. Right now, I really don't know what to do if I want to do a coloured lid or keep it nude. So, what I am going to do is just refer to my Instagram and refer to my YouTube and see what's been the most kind of ongoing theme so that we're not repeating too much. So, recent videos. Warm, new, colour, neutral, neutral. 
neutral all blue, neutral purple, green. I've not done a colourful lid on my channel in 10 months, so colourful lid it is. So I'm going to go in with my, why am I so messy? I'm going to go into my Urban Decay Little Moon Dust palette that I made and I'm going to use a shade right here called Crux on my finger and you'll see how nice that looks on the eye. It is so sparkly, it is beautiful, it is so pretty. I've been dying to do a video with this Moon Dust since I put my hands on it. I don't know if you can see on camera but it is so glittery, it is beautiful. It is so, so nice. I'm going to just run a little bit of that pink colour from Urban Decay Born to Run. I'm going to run that under my lower lashes. And then when I've got that looking kind of smoked out, I'm going to go in with some more of the Fresh Meat shade from my Jeffree Star palette. To blend that out. Alan Craig, king of blending his eyeshadow way too low. So to finish off the eye, I'm going in with my favourite eye pencil of the year. It is running out. It is the Urban Decay Deep End Eye Pencil. A perfect teal for that waterline pop. Then I'm going to go back in with some more of that Crux Moon Dust. And use that as an inner corner highlight, but there's a twist. So we're going to use some of that and just really, where that Deep End pencil stops, put that all over the inner eye. I'm going to jump back into my Kristen Leanne palette, take this blue colour right here and that is Leo from the Leo and Brixton split pan and we're going to just put that on top of that Crooks Moon Dust. So you see that really does make it look extra glam but I want it to be more popping again. So then I'm going to take the other side of that little split pan which is the more white colour. And again, we're going to just put that right on top. So I really like this eye look. I think it looks so nice. I think I might put a little bit of that Transformer shade just on the tip here, just to make it extra. Oh, hello. Yeah, that's so good. That is literally what dreams are made of. So, okay, so I've went ahead and done the other eye off camera. This eye is looking super so I'm going to just pop on some lashes, my favourite lashes of 2018, which are Doll Beauty Doll Lashes in the style Chloe Elizabeth. These are super fluttery, super gappy, like the kind of style of lash that I really like. So we'll pop some of them on. I love these lashes because my eyes are a little bit more on the hooded side, but these ones you can still see the makeup behind them and they just look super glam and fluttery. So I'll just line my lips with the MAC lip liner in the shade Strip Down. It is a perfect nude. It's not like my favourite lip liner of the year. It's just the lip liner that goes nicest with my favourite lipstick of the year. So my favourite lipstick of the year is almost done. But I have bought backups, so it's all good. And that is the MAC lipstick in collaboration with my fellow Scott, Jamie Genevieve. So this, this is just the most perfect nude lipstick. I am nearly at the end of the first one. Luckily I have three more, so it's okay. But I just think it's such a nice nude, it just looks so nice. I think I wear this lipstick so often because it's just such a nice nude. And I just think it goes with so many makeup looks because it's not too hot. Not, it's not too, it's not too like a warm nude, it's not too cool. It's just a really nice neutral nude and I really like that. But I'm going to pop on top of this my favourite lip gloss of the year. And this is the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss in the shade Midnight Cowgirl. This is a nude. Like a proper... 90s. This is a proper like nude, nude, nude. And I love it. I don't know if you guys have tried these lip glosses yet, but they honestly taste so good. They're like a vanilla peppermint, I believe. But um, almost at the end of this one, Midnight Cow Girl is my favourite gloss from the collection. There is so many more colours but this is definitely my favourite because you know your boy loves a nude and what's not to love about this one. So yeah, I'm really happy how this look turned out. I hope you guys like it. Um, let me know in the comments below what your favourite products that I've used today are. So like your favourites that are my favourites. And also just your own favourites of the last year just because I always like to try new makeup and I think it'd be really nice to see if we're on the same page with what our favourites are. Also let me know in the comments below 
if you like this video, if you like my new lighting because I'm still kind of getting used to the setup of it, um, let me know what kind of looks you want to see going forward. I'm going to plan and do a few more videos this month, so um, let's see what we can come together and decide as a team. If you want to keep up with me on the daily, you can catch me on my social medias. They'll all be up here. Instagram is obviously the favourite, but I do have Twitter and Snapchat as well. And before you go, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell button so you don't miss any future uploads from me. And let me know what you think of this makeup. I'll be chatting to you guys in the comments. It was so good to be back. And I will see you next time. Bye.